on tape for this middleweight matchup, Mick Fedries. Four years the elder of Draval. Draval will have a significant reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins with two losses. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Krakow, Poland, Tomas Gorilla Draval. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man has a professional record of eight wins with five losses. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Davenport, Iowa, Drew the Massacre McPendries. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Leon Roberts. So Leon Roberts will be our referee. The beautiful Logan Stanton, Natasha, Ariani. Great to be here tonight. American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. UFC 103, Franklin versus Belfort. Okay, you ready to fight? You ready to fight? Bring Andrew Ball. Oh, they meet with the kicks early. And if you haven't seen these guys fight, both guys are very explosive. Drew McFedry's big knockout power and Draval is incredibly strong. McFedry's is always thinking knockout or be knocked out. And he swings for the fences. Good inside, inside kick. leg kick. Now, Drew a moment ago with the inside leg kick dropped his hands for a second. Gotta oh, be careful there. Good uppercut by Drew. He's thrown that a couple of times, Joe. Draval pushes forward with a combination. Draval connecting. Draval looking, looking for, for the a double. takedown. Draval, the gorilla, making his middleweight debut here in the UFC. 16-2 overall in his mixed martial arts record, in his mixed martial arts career. Good takedown defense by McFedries. Very physically strong UFC veteran. I mean, he's strong at 205, so I think at 185, that's really the better weight class for him if he can handle the cut without being diminished by the dehydration. And Joe, as you have seen with many fighters, the first time oftentimes is the most difficult. Yeah. Your body becomes more accustomed. You do better things way before you start to cut. So we'll keep an eye on the cardio of Tomas Draval fighting for the first time in the UFC tonight at 185. McFedries has a cut over his right eyebrow and it looks like on his left cheek. Man, Drew McFedries is really jumping into that big right hook. Looking for knockout of the night. Tosses Draval aside. Looks like he was trying to set up the flying knee. Lightning fast pace early is now slowed a bit. Drew is really winding up with his shots. Really kind of telegraphing him. Uppercut again, and that one connects. Draval's got a hold of Drew. Well, McFedries doesn't believe in hitting singles. Drew's it's either home run or bust. He's got him down. Draval on top. Draval trying to stay on top of him. He moves into Let side control. McFedries is holding on to the shorts. Draval's got a hold of him again. McFedries up. Trying to pry those hands away. Draval expect to see some knees to the thighs here. And there they go. And Another. again, nicely done. Good, Good solid control. Ones. He's really digging those in. Again, leaning in and swinging away is Drew McFedries. He, he doesn't seem like he's fighting his in his normal style, though. It almost seems like he's really winding up more than usual. These guys are banging away at each other. Caught him with a left, tried to finish him 
with the uppercut. Draval pushing forward, happy to exchange. You know, we've seen so many times when guys are looking for the knockout, you know, when you really wind up and swing, it, it makes it a lot more difficult. They get tight and they get tired quicker. Inside leg kick by McFedries. Draval connected with that right. For Draval, it must be a relief just to be fighting someone more of his size. Well, they are going toe to toe here in round one. You have seen one nice left hook there. Like Drew McFedries to me seems like he's fading. And perhaps he, in the back of his mind, Joe, knew that if he didn't finish it early, he might be in a bit of trouble because, as over. we said, he came out just swinging for the knockout. Side control, moves to mount. Draval is on top. McFedries is in big trouble. McFedries is going to roll. Draval has a hook in. Ten seconds left in the round. Draval's pounding on him here. He may not be able to finish it here. Nope. Runs out of time. Good first round by McFedries and Draval. Draval really turned it up at the end of the round. Yeah, like I said, Mike, Drew, Drew McFedries does not look himself. He looks like he's telegraphing his shots. He looks tight. He can't handle this pressure. He cannot handle this pace. All right? You're doing everything right. He cannot handle the pressure. Keep have, make him back up. Get him against the cage. I want head position. Don't forget about this. I want you to get that tie clinch up there, okay? All right? You're right here. Right Throw that right hook, but you gotta follow up because you only landed one side at a time. Don't get lazy on the takedown defense. You freaking keep this guy on your feet and you throw freaking combos. Quit loading up. You're too good for that. Throw combos and knock this guy out. Look, speed, baby. You hear Robbie Lawler agreeing with me. He's loading up. Robbie wants him to loosen up and throw combos. Use technique. Thomas, right back Throwing to me. from his Thomas, hips, right Joe. Me. I mean, he looked fantastic right against Professor X in his last fight. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Fight Bring lasted a total of 37 seconds. Second round. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. He's got his head straight up when he's winging these punches too, Mike. Draval Draval connected. Continues to push forward. Draval's strikes are sharp. They're pinpoint. They're accurate. And Draval is physically very powerful. As we mentioned, he fought at 205 pounds. And he's got him down. Three previous and this three time, three previous appearances in the octagon. This time, Drew is just lying there. He's got him down, goes right into side control. And he's going to move into mount, Mike. Watch that right leg. He's going to get that right knee up across the belly and try to move to mount. He's got the mount. He's got the mount, he's got his back. McFedries is in big trouble here. He's got it under his neck. Tomas Draval looking to finish. Uh, McFedries just spit out his mouthpiece, I think. It might have been Draval's mouthpiece. It's Can hard to tell. he choke him out? It's it. it is so all over! Tomas Draval has choked out Drew McFedries. The gorilla. And I think this is an excellent weight class for him, Mike. He looked very powerful at this weight class. Put the pressure on Drew McFedries, and, you know, quite honestly, Drew McFedries just did not look himself. You know, in the past, we've seen him so crisp, so explosive. Tonight, it seemed like he was tight. It seemed like he was winding up and loading up on his shots, and, and, it, and he got tired very quickly. Let's take a look at the end. Draval, this is the very end. Draval just, at the beginning of the round, got a hold of McFedries, dragged him to the ground, immediately took side control, went to mount. McFedries rolled over, got his back, and Draval just choked him out. And McFedries didn't really have that much to resist. Love it. Love it. Draval victorious in his UFC middleweight debut. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Leon Roberts has called a stop to this contest at one minute. Three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Tomas Gorilla Draval. 
17 and 2 overall, 3 and 1 in the UFC. Draval with Joe. All right, I'm here with the gorilla, Tomas Draval. You must be very happy. First of all, this is your first fight at middleweight. Tell me, how do you feel in this division? Do you think you'll be fighting the remainder of your career here? Yeah, um, I just win my fist fight. So I think we'll be good. I feel good. Zero is a heavy, heavy uh, hit guy. So it was, wasn't easy as, uh, as you saw. No, not easy at all. Drew McFedges has some serious power. Did, did he hurt you at any time during that first round? You guys were exchanging, exchanging some big bombs. Hey, look at my eyes. He's, he's good. He's heavy hands, really heavy hands. Good guy. Well, it, it seemed like you, the pace that you set was a little too much for him, and eventually you got him down to the ground, and from there you were able to tap him. That's my, uh, it was my uh, game plan. Game plan to take him down. Or if I see, yeah. If, if I survived and stand up, okay, uh, if not, it was, uh, was uh, not easy to do this, so I take it now. Well, congratulations on a very impressive victory. We look forward to seeing you again. Tomas Draval, ladies and gentlemen. Draval chokes out McFedries.